Centurion was a brand of bicycles created in 1969 by Mitchell Mitch M. Wiener and Junior Cozy Yamakoshi, who co-founded Western States Import Co. WSI in Canoga Park, California initially will go imports to design, specify, distribute and market the bicycles. The bikes themselves were manufactured initially in Japan by companies including H. Tano Company of Kobe and later in Taiwan by companies including Merida. The Centurion brand was consolidated with WSI's mountain bike brand Diamond back in 1990. WSI ceased operations in 2000. Centurion and WSI competed in the U.S. against domestic and European bicycle manufacturers including Schwinn, Rally, Peugeot, Hitane and Motobekane. As well as other nascent Japanese bicycle brands including Miyata, Fuji, Bridgestone, Panasonic, Univega, Lotus and Nishiki itself a line of Japanese manufactured bicycles that were specified, distributed and marketed by West Coast Cycles, a U.S. company similar to WSI. Japanese manufactured bikes succeeded in the U.S. market until currency fluctuations in the late 1980s made them less competitive, leading companies to source bicycles from Taiwan. WSI marketed the Centurion brand of road and touring bicycles in the United States using the tagline, Where Centurion leads, others must follow. And a lifetime bicycle, offering a warranty without time limit. For a brief period the bikes carried a Centurion Bicycle Works head badge. The German company Centurion, which still exists, imported Centurion bikes from Japan to Germany from 1976 on and bought the name rights in 1990. <laughs> History According to Frank J. Berto, Rally Industries of America had been looking at a Japanese source for their Grand Prix model. Rally America ordered 2,000 bicycles from Tano and Company of Osaka but their parent company in England, TI Rally, disapproved—concerned that the Tano-built bikes were too well made and would have outsold their own British bikes. Rally's sales agent, Mitchell Wiener, who was reading the new Centurions at the time, took receipt of the bikes, placed Centurion decals on the bikes and marketed them successfully, subsequently forming Western State Imports after merging with Rick Wilson's company, Wilgo of Santa Clara, California, because the bikes had all been intended as Rally Grand Prix models. As Centurions, they carried the colors of the Rally America Grand Prix model. Kozy Yamakoshi served as the company's product development manager, designing the bike's frames, coordinating the manufacture of the bikes by Japanese manufacturers, and importing the bikes into the U.S. Subsequently, around 1986, Centurion introduced their first Taiwanese built model, the Signet. The Sinelli Equipi Centurion of 1985 only was a joint venture of WSI and Sinelli of Italy. Early bike sales were limited to the West Coast, with the brand receiving wider exposure by the late 1970s. WSI stopped using the Centurion brand name in 1990, consolidating their road and touring bikes under the Diamond Back, later Diamond Back brand. While the brand Centurion had become well known, under the new brand name the company's market for road and touring bicycles soon evaporated. Early Diamond Back models CA, 1990, carried a top tube decal reading, Centurion Designed and stickers near the bottom bracket reading, designed in the USA, and exclusively built for WSI. Diamondback Bicycles was eventually sold to Rally USA, and manufacture was moved to Taiwan. WSI later opened an office in Van Nuys, California, and eventually maintained offices in Dallas, Texas, Denver, Colorado and Dayton, New Jersey. In addition a headquarters in Newbury Park, California. After Wiener died, the company continued its growth under the management of Mike Bobrick. Kozy Yamakoshi, product and development manager, worked with Mike Bobrick, executive president of WSI, and Sandy Finkelman, 1947 to 2005, Diamondback team manager and product development, and left Diamondback in 1986 to start Park Prey Mountain Bike in 1989. Park Prey USA was based in Moore Park, Southern California, USA, producing bikes from the early 1990s until 1998. Ken Yamakoshi, son of Kozy Yamakoshi, is in the process of relaunching Park Prey in the U.S. The rights to the brand name Centurion were sold to Germany's Wolfgang Renner in 1991. Renner had imported Centurion to Germany since 1976, including made extra models like the first German mountain bike, Country. Today, Centurion remains as a German brand with design and engineering in-house. Topic. Models 
Centurion eventually marketed a full line of road and touring bikes, with steel construction ranging from full all eight tubes high tensile 1020 steel at the lower end, to full all eight tubes chromoly bikes at their high end, with top quality componentry. Notable models included Centurion Sinelli Equipi, WSI, Centurion and Sinelli offered the co-branded Centurion Sinelli Equipi for model year 1984-85, as a joint venture, designed by Chino Sinelli several years after he retired in 1979 and sold Sinelli to the Colombo family, manufacturers of Columbus tubing. The Sinelli Equip's production was coordinated and supervised by his staff. The bike featured all Sinelli frame components, Columbus SL tubing, chrome chain stay, Sinelli chrome sloped crown, head lugs, bottom bracket shell, handlebars and stem, new style Sinelli logos embossed on bar and stem, fork crown, seat and seat stays, rear brake bridge and under bottom bracket, Campagnolo dropouts, derailleur and shifters, universal air non-aero brake set, Avmiga Mistral headset, bottom bracket and crank set, Gipiama seat post, Regina chain and CXS freewheel, Mish. Competition. Hubs and FIAM, hard silver tubular rims. Other markings include a Sinelli Equipi decal on down tube just above shifters and on left chain stay, an Italia, made in Italy decal high on seat tube, Columbus tubing decals on fork, Forcella Original, and frame, Achio Speciali, Centurion decals on down tube, left and right, and a Centurion C decal badge on head tube. Centurion Pro Tour, Richard Ballantines. Richard's Bicycle Book", included the Centurion Pro Tour ultimately manufactured from 1976 to 1984 on his list of best bikes in both the 1978 and 1982 updates of his book, along with the Schwinn Paramount P13, a bike that sold for two to three times the price of the Pro Tour. Like other full-fledged touring bikes, the Pro Tour models featured a longer wheelbase with longer chainstays for smoother ride especially while loaded, full all eight tubes chromoly construction for ride compliance, cantilever brakes to allow room for fenders, internal wiring for a bottom bracket generator and numerous brazons, two mounts on the fork for the cantilever brakes, two eyelets in back for a rack and a fender, two eyelets on the fork for a rack and a fender, low rack mounting points on the fork, mounts for two bottle cages, mounts for downtube shifters, cable stops, and seat stay mounts for a rack. Topic. Serial numbers Centurions except the Sinelli Centurion have serial numbers on the underside of the bottom bracket shell. One way to date a Centurion is to try to find date codes on the bike's components. Centurion models manufactured in Japan between 1980 to 1990 use a serial number format WXYZZZZ with W equals a letter, purpose uncertain, possibly indicates a manufacturer or centurion. X equals a number, indicating the calendar year of manufacture. Y. Topic a letter, indicating the fortnight of manufacture a week 1 and 2, B equals week 3 and 4, etc. ZZZZ equals 4-digit number, probably indicating frame number during fortnight of manufacture. N4E0283, as an example, would indicate this is the 283rd frame made during the period of weeks 9-10 in 1984. Barring a major components upgrade at some point in a bike's history, one can confirm a bike's age by the dates found on the majority of components in its groupset. See also Nishiki bicycle. List of Japanese bicycle manufacturers Topic. External links Modern manufacturers Centurion German has the rights to the original company Centurion Denmark an unrelated company original 1984 Centurion catalogue Centurion Pro Tour Review Bicycling, December 1976 page 1, page 2